Death comes for us all, and what immediately happens to our mortal shells after passing away is both amazing and disgusting. Explaining what happens after death can be complicated due to death's vague definition. Depending on how you lost your life, there are several ways in which your body can go through the process of dying. For example, if your heart gives out, the sudden lack of blood causes the brain to swell, destroying the brainstem. This causes a total loss of consciousness as our brain becomes unable to send signals to the rest of our body. At the same time, part of the brain is forced by the pressure through the base of the skull, a process known as coning. Technically speaking, this chain reaction includes more than one way of dying. Death occurs when your heart stops beating, and again when your brain officially dies. But brain death is still poorly understood by science and is subject to rigorous investigation. This is because clinical death is ultimately a gray area that's typically decided by a doctor rather than an official checklist. In some rare cases, when a person's brain stem has failed but their heart hasn't, their body can remain functional after death through the use of a ventilator. Sometimes those who've clinically died are revived, and from what they report about the first few minutes after death, things get pretty weird. Popular science reports that around 10 to 20% of people experience visions. Common near-death experiences, or NDEs, include floating out of the body, seeing bright lights, and experiencing feelings of otherworldly peace. Sometimes these feelings are so profound they seem to trigger major existential crises. I no longer have any kind of a fear of death. While some critics argue that when an NDE occurs, the brain hasn't died yet, others assert that in such cases, consciousness has technically stopped. But this eerie twilight between life and death offers up a third option. Some scientists believe our brains are flooded with the immensely powerful chemical DMT. While DMT is known as an extremely potent psychedelic that many people take recreationally, it also exists in the brains of mammals. The striking similarities between voluntary DMT trips and NDEs may indicate that near-death visions are the result of a bizarre psychedelic illusion. But regardless of what's happening to your brain, the first few minutes after death can be pretty alarming for unprepared bystanders. A fresh corpse can sometimes move or twitch before rigor mortis causes the body to become stiff. According to one study by the American Academy of Neurology, 39% of monitored corpses display similar signs of twitching after receiving latent signals from the spinal cord. The relaxation of the muscles can also have the side effect of triggering a forced release of the bowels and bladder. In rare cases, if a person is doing repetitive movements shortly before they die, they may also go through cadaveric spasms, which can freeze a body into position in an accelerated form of rigor mortis. On such occasions, the body will replay a person's final actions, which can help morticians identify what the patient was doing when they died. But that isn't the most unsettling thing your body does, or the last. According to Aftermath, roughly four minutes after we expire, your body starts to cannibalize itself during the first stage of decomposition, a process called autolysis. While alive, your body's respiratory system feeds your cells oxygen and takes away carbon dioxide. However, as soon as you stop breathing, your cells become starved of oxygen and struggle to cope with the trapped carbon dioxide. Inevitably, this makes your cells more acidic and destroys them from the inside out. Your cells begin to rupture and fall apart, and your body rots away over the next few hours. The total destruction of the cell's membranes releases hungry enzymes from the lysosome sacs in your cells, allowing them to run wild. The unrestrained enzymes munch on everything in the cells, and the body starts digesting it. Itself, long before bacteria and insects have arrived to join the party. 